looked in that mirror and girl I smiled, half of my face would not move. How did I get this? Who gave this shit to me? Because why is my blood pressure reading this high? You could be perfectly fine one day and casket sharp the next. Thank you so much for watching Miss Angel Lee TV where we talk about everything and when I mean everything I mean like I know the title of this video is like a girl what the fuck <laughs> um yeah it did as happen and I never thought that something like this could happen to me so we're gonna get right now into it I ain't gonna talk too much but y'all already know before I do that go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel because you don't want to miss anything that I have going on like girl I got all type of different story times so you will need to go ahead on and subscribe if you like story times if you like tea if you like receipts all of that shit go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and also hit that thumbs up button that way your girl can get out here in these YouTube streets and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when the next time your girl posts okay like I know we've been talking about a lot of other stuff you know different things different scenarios that went on with other people and shit like that but i it's been a minute since i really actually sat down and talked about me myself um like what's what's up with me like how am i feeling i always talk about how i felt two years ago three years ago like all of that but like how am i feeling currently now currently i am doing good so let's just get that out the way obviously you can see i'm moving both sides of my face so what i'm getting ready to talk to y'all about has resolved itself but i didn't think this could happen to me yet alone anybody else like i never knew of this what i'm getting ready to tell y'all so keep watching because certain things out here so many different conditions so many illnesses that we don't really know about or that's not talked about enough so we're gonna get right into it so go ahead on girl sit down grab your snacks grab your, your wine whatever the fuck you need because bitch we gotta talk okay so october 2023 that's when it all began bitch if you og and you've been subscribed for a while you know that i gave birth to my fifth baby april of 2023 so all of this is what i'm getting ready to tell y'all going on in the same year bitch okay <laughs> a lot going on as far as my health prior to this situation overall it was good um like i said i had just had a baby i was full-blown breastfeeding still is but i was exclusively breastfeeding mine is like my appetite i will say my appetite has been horrible lately like it's really really been bad but um I'm working on it. So mine is my appetite and anxiety. I suffer from anxiety. I've been having anxiety since postpartum depression. Um, and that postpartum depression I'm speaking about occurred in 2018. So I really, truly never really recovered <laughs> from that. Uh, I mean, I'm obviously I'm better. But as I was healing, I was gathering new problems. So and these problems, which were anxiety, I've never had anxiety, which like i mean i would hear people talk about it but i didn't really know how big of a thing it was until i actually started having this shit so that is what i have i'm not on med any medication because i am just like I, I feel like i've been dealing with this for so long i can kind of you know get myself through it without medication you know what i'm saying so that's just how i was doing prior to this situation so october of 2023 i went to my postpartum appointment and during this postpartum appointment i don't know if she gave me my iud at that point or if i had to go back to get my i i think it was just like a little checkup to make sure i wasn't pregnant or to her scheduling me to get the iud because my doctor she was just paranoid like girl you ain't on no birth control you've been you ain't been on the birth control for I don't know how many months and you're not using protection, this and that. So she just wants to make sure that I wasn't pregnant. And I already knew I wasn't pregnant. But she, as a doctor, just wants to be sure I have that on her record before she give me any type of birth control. So, you know, whenever you go to your OBGYN, they check your vitals, check your blood pressure, your weight, your temperature, like all of that shit, right? So, you know, I'm feeling normal and sitting in the chair while she checking my blood pressure. Well, um, the assistant rather, she checking my blood pressure and she asks me, are you, you feeling okay? You, you good? I was like, uh, yeah. 
I think so, but now that you asking me, bitch, I don't know. Should I not be feeling okay the fuck? So she was like, well, your, your blood pressure was reading kind of high, but let me just, let me check it again and just, you know, make sure. I'm like, okay, because a bitch ain't never had no issues with her pressure. <laughs> not the pressure, like never had no issues. So she checked it again and she says it's still high. Now, I believe it was reading like 155 over high 80s into 90s i can't re really remember exactly but bitch it was high um higher than normal especially for me my age my body structure like i'm small not to say that you know well we're gonna get into that but like on the outside looking at people might think oh okay you good you healthy you nothing wrong with you just telling the nurse i'm just like girl i don't know why my blood pressure is high i promise you like i'm not stressed I'm good, you know, so I don't I don't really know. So I go into the room where the doctor comes or whatever, and I'm waiting on a doctor, and then the same nurse came back in and was just like, doctor wants me to just check your blood pressure one more time. So at this point, bitch, she didn't check my blood pressure three times, the third time, it's still high. And so now I'm getting stressed out. <laughs> now I'm really stressed out because I'm just not understanding why my blood pressure is reading so high. And my doctor comes in, she do what she needs to do. She asks me questions and she's just like, are you okay? You know, your blood pressure is reading high, you know, like, are you, like, what's going on? And I'm just like, I'm, I don't know. I'm like, I'm perfectly fine. I'm not sure why it's reading high. Um, that's new to me. I've never dealt with any high blood pressure issues. Like, you know, during my pregnancy, good blood pressure, my delivery, good. Even, you know, after this, because mind you, at this point, um, this wasn't technically my postpartum appointment. Um, it was just a follow-up for my IUD. My postpartum appointment was actually like six weeks after I gave birth. So that was way back in what May of 2023. But bitch, we in October of 2023. So I couldn't relate it to the pregnancy because I, you know, I already had a follow-up and stuff like that prior to, um, Prior to this, and I was per perfectly fine. Oh, and one thing I also forgot to mention, I also dealt with a lot of headaches. Like, prior to me getting pregnant, I would do with migraines like crazy, and I just got used to it, honestly. I just was pill-popping like a motherfucker to get used to it. So I just wanted to throw that out because I did forget to mention that, and that is kind of important to mention because of what I'm about to talk about. So my doctor was just like, well, you need to follow up with your doctor or go to the urgent care if it gets too bad she also recommended that i purchase like my own blood pressure monitor or reader at home in the inside i'm just like i really do not feel like dealing with no hospital um but i'm gonna just buy a blood pressure reading and just kind of see what it is and just like monitor it and if it you know doesn't go away then i'm gonna just go get seen I bought the blood pressure monitor that same day and it was still high <laughs> It was still high. Now, at this point, I'm giving it to myself. So, I'm seeing how high it is. And I'm just telling my husband, I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to just go to the hospital. My husband was already telling me to go to the hospital. I'm hard-headed. Like, I feel like the hospital is their last resort. And I feel like that because I have so many kids. And I know I need to put my health first. But I, I be thinking about my kids. I'm just like, if I go to the hospital, ain't no telling how long I'm going to be in the hospital. I know I got, they got to do this, they got to do that. Like, even though I have a husband that's capable of doing everything, I'm a control freak. So, I be wanting to control a lot <laughs> whenever it comes to these kids. Because I just feel like I'm going to be the one to only do it right. Like, how I want it to do. Like, my husband, he going to do it right, but he going to do it his way. But I like shit to be done my way. And that is a huge flaw because, I, bitch, you got a man for what? Like, you can't do everything. You're not superwoman, bitch, obviously. Because you, your motherfucking ass in hospital or finna go to the hospital because your blood pressure is high. So, you ain't all of that. You ain't superwoman. You can't do everything. I took myself to the ER. So, my husband said, you know, because obviously I had the baby. And I'm not bringing my baby to the ER. And we don't really have people to just watch our kids just like that. So, I'm like... Look, babe, I'm about to go to the hospital. I'm about to try to see what's going on. I'll be right back, okay? Girl, went to the hospital. Go to, you know, the back, the, the triage, whatever you want to call it, so that they can check my vitals as well. And, bitch, my pressure was even higher. <laughs> it was even higher. And I could not believe this. I couldn't believe this. I didn't even know it was possible for my blood pressure to be that, or just anybody in general. Um, when I checked it, the highest, because they checked it a couple of times, right? So the highest it got in the ER was two, it was 200 and something. It was like low, low two, maybe like 206, 208, something like that over like 101. 
and that's dangerous according to google and according to the nurses and the, and the doctors at the, the er they were honestly surprised that i was like walking breathing talking <laughs> they could not believe that i was like a walking stroke bitch like literally i was a walking stroke because why is my blood pressure reading this high i'm only 28 years old i know i got a lot of kids they be getting on my nerves or whatever but ain't no way they stressing me out like this right like i i just <laughs> I couldn't understand it for the life of me. They gave me some medicine and then they told me to go back to the waiting room to kind of see if it'll go down or whatever. And it did go down. It didn't go down like too, too much, but it went down, I think maybe 170 something over high 90s. Um, and looking back at it, they should have kept me in that hospital. <laughs> and a lot of my, my friends and family, they said the same thing. They couldn't understand why they were like, oh, okay, we're giving you this medicine. So the medicine working a little bit, so let's just send you home, you know? But that's what they did. They gave me the medication um, in the hospital. And then they also prescribed me some to pick up and then told me to follow up with a doctor. Probably like that next week I followed up with my actual doctor. They, you know, talked to me and it was, she was an African-American um, woman. She looked young too, to be honest. She was a nurse practitioner. And she was just talking to me and was just like, we were just, just talking. I can't really quote exactly everything we were talking about but overall i was telling her how i got seven kids and how you know this and that you know what i'm saying i was just telling her what i do on a regular basis i work from home i take care of my kids at home like i'm always at home you know doing this doing that and basically she told me girl you need to slow down <laughs> like you need to slow down there's no way that you should be doing so much and and honestly it wasn't really the fact that i was doing so much it was more of me feeling like i had to do that much because i'm i can't really call myself a perfectionist because i'm not but i like things done a certain way and it's just like my husband always tell me like like open up your mouth speak up if you need me to help you whatever like let me know and like i get that i hear that but I just feel like, don't worry about it, I'm gonna do it, I can do it, like, I'm a, I'm a do it type of bitch. The doctor was just like, girl, you need to slow the fuck down, like, them kids gonna be there, them dishes gonna be there, just chill out, relax. I honestly didn't realize how much pressure I put myself under whenever it comes to making sure, like, daily things get done. Um, I didn't really realize that until, like, I'm in the fucking hospital, damn near about to die, bitch. And not only that, blood pressure is actually hereditary. Um, it is in my family. My mom has it and my grandma have it. And the crazy part about it is my mama caught, I said caught, bitch the fuck. <laughs> my mama was diagnosed with high blood pressure at the age of 29. I'm 28. So literally, we got the same thing around the same time of our lives which is so crazy it's so so crazy i might not look like i got health issues a bitch gotta take medicine every night <laughs> i gotta check my pressure every couple of days and make sure the medicine still work like i gotta do all of that and probably for the rest of my life um well i can't say for the rest of my life because i know there are ways to reverse it um i have not been doing my research on it honestly i have not been doing it do my research on that yet um but i know it's reversible i know y'all know some things give me some suggestions um if you don't want to comment it you can dm me on instagram like help me out um because i'm all for like natural remedies i hate the fact that i have to take medicine but i'd rather take it instead of depending on natural things right now specifically because i don't know what things to do to kind of help that or to reverse that so just help your girl out tell me you know what i'm saying tell me what y'all think <laughs> but bitch i ain't done <laughs> y'all see the title of the story time right okay like i said i ain't done that was just the beginning so for whatever reason i was kind of in denial that i had high blood pressure i started to think like girl maybe it was just that particular time 
um, or that particular moment. Maybe you ate something the day before. I know y'all probably looking at me, rolling your eyes, or listening to this, rolling your eyes. I know, but I'm just telling y'all the truth. That's all I know how to do. I was in denial. I was in denial for a second. Given the given the fact that I didn't already told y'all it's hereditary, I knew all of this, but for, still for some reason I just was in denial. So it went from me taking the medication every single day to me not taking it every single day taking it every couple of days to me not taking it at all and so um this continued maybe for about two to three weeks which wasn't long at all moving forward to november <laughs> of 2023 so one morning i woke up to um bring my kids to bus out we were also well we as in myself and another parent and my neighbor we were talking about christmas lights some because it was getting ready to be christmas i told y'all it's november at this point right so we're talking about that and i noticed whenever i smiled it kind of felt like y'all know how whenever it be really really cold outside and you be trembling like you can't really just like smile big i don't know y'all y'all might know what i mean but if y'all don't it's okay that's just how the best way i can describe it so that's how kind of how it felt like it felt like i couldn't really smile that that big but i but i thought maybe it was because i was kind of cold because it, it wasn't hot uh, i mean it wasn't freezing freezing but it wasn't hot at this point either so i just thought that i was just cold and that's why so i didn't think anything of it but it was almost like a tight feeling it was the morning time i wasn't really thinking too much about it i was also off that day so i was just looking forward to getting back in the bed and going to sleep went in the house took a nap and i noticed that my eye kept like itching well this eye actually so my right eye just kept itching and it, it just felt irritated as fuck and i kept rubbing it and it also kept watering i was like what the fuck like, why the fuck am I eye water? Like, that shit was pissing me off because I didn't have no contacts. And I do wear contacts, but I didn't have no contacts in at this point. So, I'm just like, do I have something in my eye or something? So, now at this point, my eye kind of red because I didn't rub it so motherfucking much. And then, to put the icing on the cake, my motherfucking glasses, my brand new glasses that I just had purchased that, that are currently broken right now as we speak again for the third time. But, <laughs> my glasses bro that pissed me off because i'm just like first of all i'm already having trouble with my eyes um, i can't see shit for real without my glasses anyway so i'm not only having trouble with my eye but bitch my glasses then broke and i do got a picture of them motherfucking glasses bitch <laughs> let me go ahead and show y'all a picture of them damn glasses because them glasses pissed me off because i literally had not had them glasses for not even a month yet i'm just trying to put two and two together i'm like did i do something like my husband's like did you fall asleep with your glasses i'm like no i didn't fall asleep with my glasses on because i remember putting my glasses on whenever i first woke up so no i didn't fall asleep with my glasses on but fuck fuck that now my eye water my eye itchy and all of this shit so i couldn't find my eye drive so i was like look i'm getting ready to go to kroger real quick and i'm gonna go get me some damn eye drops because this shit ain't it ain't whatever's going on i don't know maybe i'm having an allergic reaction or allergy or whatever that's another thing i was thinking about maybe i'm just allergic to something got the drops and before i could even pull off bitch i put the eye drops in that one eye because it was bothering me that much so i put it in that eye and i kind of felt a little relief a little bit at least i thought i felt a little relief bitch so i'm driving home and i'm noticing once again my eye is feeling the same way so i'm like fuck maybe the eye drops ain't settled in yet bitch i don't know the damn shit say only put two drops in your eye every every couple of hours so i'm like do i put more i don't know so i'm just like okay maybe it's the the ac on my car that's making my eye water like this so i turn my ac off and i pull my windows down to see if that will help and obviously that didn't help so i go home and go to the bathroom immediately to once again examine my eye because i'm just like my eye has never felt like this it just felt like somebody scratched me in my eye I can't really explain it but it just felt like you know if you're a contact wear you know how i feel whenever your contacts are scratched up or ripped or whatever that's how it felt but bitch i ain't had no contacts in my eye so girl i'm looking in the mirror i had, like did the like you know the little and i realized my right eye wasn't closing all the way hold on my eye is a little swollen i'll show a picture of that as well i know my eye is a little swollen but bitch why i can't close this motherfucker i don't know i don't know what made me do this probably no, nobody but the lord made me do this but it, it i remember the whole smiling situation outside that that earlier that morning and something told me look in the mirror and smile girl looked in that mirror and girl i smiled half of my face would not move my eye would not blink 
my lip would not make the little, you know, when you smile, it did not do that at all. I almost shit myself. I fucking freaked out because I'm like, bitch, are you? Go check your motherfucking blood pressure. That's the first thing I ran and did. My husband was just like, what the, what's going on? What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm just like, just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. I checked my blood pressure and bitch, it was high. I don't remember what the numbers were at this point, but I knew it was over 120, over 80. It was over that. Um, I, 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 I started panicking. I started panicking immediately. Um, I thought I was having a stroke. I knew I was having a stroke, actually. I'm just like, I'm having a fucking stroke. I need to go to the ER. I'm telling my husband, I'm just like, look, I can't even smile. Like, look, I'm telling him this. I'm like, please, I need you to bring me to the ER right away. I don't know what's going on, but I need to be in somebody emergency room. I get in the car and I'm checking my blood pressure because I just knew that any moment I was just going to fall out and have a fucking stroke. Like, I just knew that that was getting ready to happen. So I'm checking my blood pressure in the car just to monitor and make sure it's not going higher than what it was. And hear my husband go, he's like, have you been taking your blood pressure medicine? I'm just like, no, not like I should be. <laughs> and because I knew damn well I wasn't taking that shit at all at this point. Like it had probably been a good week or so that I had not had that medication because I'm in, I was in denial, right? So here go my husband getting on my ass, fussing at me. Well, why wouldn't you take the medicine? You know you're supposed to take the medicine. You know you got high blood pressure. You would you think this is a joke? <laughs> He's getting on my ass. I'm just like, I'm, I'm just like, babe, I know, I know. I just, I, I just didn't think I had it. Like, I don't know. I just thought it was just like a, a one-time thing or whatever so this is happening all as we're driving to the hospital thank god the hospital really was literally like down the street so i'm in the cars panicking then i start crying because i'm just like oh my god what what the kids gonna eat for dinner and it's again i'm thinking about shit that i should not be thinking about because like bitch why is that even on your mind like them kids gonna eat them kids got a daddy like them kids gonna eat i promise you your kids ain't never went a day without eating but this is just stuff that i'm naturally thinking about because like i said i'm a control freak i just feel like i everything has to go my way or every, in order for things to happen i have to be in control of it like that's just how i was thinking i'm an overthinker and that's like i just start thinking about one thing and then i start thinking about a million other things right afterwards and that's when the anxiety start to come <laughs> in place girl just a hot ass mess so get to the hospital bitch and there's a bunch of people in the motherfucking hospital at night i'm like god damn bitch everybody and the mama got something going on tonight so although there's a lot of people in there it's quiet the only thing that you can hear is like the little tvs on and it's quiet as fuck and you know you go there and you tell the people what's going on and i'm telling the lady she she asked me what's going on and i'm just like i don't know my blood pressure high and i can't move a part of my face i don't know i might be having a stroke i don't know so that's what i tell her you know, the wristband you didn't tell you to go sit your ass down. Obviously, it wasn't an emergency for them, bitch, because they just told me to sit my ass down. And that's what I did. Um, And it took them a while, actually, to call my name. I was in there for a while. So I'm just sitting in the chair panicking. My thoughts are louder than a motherfucking room at this point, bitch, because I'm just thinking, like, oh, my God, what if I die? What if this was the last night that I see my kids? Like, I, this is everything that's going on in my mind. So as I'm sitting in the waiting room in the hospital, I notice... My symptoms are getting worse. They're getting fucking worse. At first, I wasn't able to smile a little bit, but bitch, now I can't do shit at all. Like, I can't do a motherfucking thing. Like, even my speech at this point is slurred or weird. I can't say certain words. I can't say certain letters because apparently you, you need both both sides of your lips to talk, bitch. <laughs> you need it. They, 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 all your muscles need to work in order for you to say every letter of the alphabet correctly whenever it comes to your grammar i felt like i was slowly dying in that chair and i was i was panicking so my husband his sister is actually a nurse so i told him i was like can you call her and see what she thinks because she's a nurse practitioner to be exact i'm just like call her and see what she thinks so she gets on the phone we tell her everything that's going on and the first thing she says is i think you might have bell's palsy bell who now, granted, I have heard of the word Bell's palsy before, but I never had a reason to discover what it really was. You know what I'm saying? So it's new to me. Um, so I started Googling, bitch, and every single thing that I'm experiencing, I'm reading. So I'm just like, I know you motherfucking lying. How did I get this? Who gave this shit to me? Like, 
not be thinking it's contagious because i didn't know how the fuck we got it at this point i didn't know anything so i'm like who the fuck gave this shit to me like why did it have to happen to me why whoever passed this on had to pass it on to me <laughs> you know this is obviously before i realized obviously this was not anything that was contagious it just so happened to happen to my ass and girl the hospital took so motherfucking long god it took so long child it took so long i was hungry i had to give me something out the snack machine so i got me some chips and a drink i started eating and i took a sip of that drink and bitch, half of the motherfucker drink slid down the right side of my mouth. <sighs> How embarrassing. And it was at that point where I just knew, like, bitch, you got to get it together. Ain't no way. Ain't no motherfucker way you didn't put yourself in this hospital. Because, again, I didn't know what Bell's palsy was caused by. And from, based on my research, maybe y'all can help me a little bit. But based on my research, like, stress can cause it too and the high blood pressure can so is some type of way contributed to it i don't know so i'm just grouping all of these different things that i'm dealing with because a bitch was not consistent with taking her blood pressure medication so i'm really beating myself up in the inside because like girl you're stupid as fuck like why did you have why were you in denial like they said what they said you just you should have just went with it like your mama got the damn shit your grandma got it why you think you ain't got it you ain't special i realized I can't drink regularly, so I'm literally closing the side of my mouth while I'm drinking out the bottle to make sure that I don't look like a retard in the middle of this damn waiting room trying to drink some shit that's falling on the floor. After I realized how difficult it was for me to eat, I just wanted to cry because I cannot believe that I was really dealing with this shit, like, real life. I cannot believe that. They finally called me to the back, thank God, after 40 days and 40 nights. And so, talked to the doctor, telling her my symptoms, all of that. She asked me to close my eyes and smile and all of this. I done told you I can't smile. Why are you going to sit here and make me do the shit again? <laughs> but I did it for her and um, I closed my eyes for her. Well, attempted to. And you can obviously see. And I, I have a video. I'll go ahead and show y'all the video. Excuse me. I know I look a hot ass mess compared to what I look like right now. Don't judge a bitch. But a bitch was going through it, okay? So yeah, as y'all can see, like I literally, like that, this eye was delayed. Like it'll close, but it closed slow. It closed slow as fuck. And it would be times whenever I would, after all this happened or whatever, I would go to sleep or try to sleep and I would literally have to manually close this eye in order for it to stay open. So embarrassing, so fucking embarrassing. So doctor told me, yeah, bitch, you got Bell's palsy. <laughs> My sister-in-law, she was right. She was telling me how long I could expect to deal with it which was approximately like four weeks or some shit like that she said she also gave me a speech about me taking my medication which i honestly i needed that speech like everybody needed to get on my ass okay because girl you know better uh so she was like you need to make sure you take your medicine because that blood pressure shit ain't nothing to deal with obviously the nurse was a curse and or whatever but if i was a nurse and i could talk how if i wanted to talk i would have said it just like that bitch girl you better take that motherfucking medication the fuck you got these motherfucking kids take care of you got seven kids and a husband like peach would say and also the doctor was telling me about all of the medication they were gonna put me on which were some steroids and some anti inflammatory medication or something like that so she was telling me how steroids is gonna make me hungry and, and which i was kind of excited for bitch because like i didn't told y'all a bitch appetite is challenged okay it's very much so challenged so i wasn't complaining about that at all but i had never taken any steroids before so i didn't even know that was even a side effect honestly i was just like okay i am not gonna miss no dose i'm gonna take my medicine on time same as that time right on time okay at this point you know they didn't sit me home and stuff like that i'm just like okay girl you need to make sure you are on your medication everything you need to be on your shit don't miss a dose don't do none of that because some of the medications i think i have to take twice a day or something like that so i have to make sure that i was taking it how i was supposed to if i ever wanted a chance to get my smile again back because bitch when i tell y'all that was so embarrassing whenever i would laugh i would cover my mouth i know my husband didn't give a fuck he's really really playful and he would make jokes or whatever about it uh to kind of like make me feel better like girl it's okay you you got a crooked smile <laughs> no j cole got a crooked smile song I, i'm pretty sure he played that song for me just to kind of cheer me up by me trying to make sure i stay on my medication i remembered it dawned on me like the week before i thought i had a uti i didn't have a uti but i thought i had a uti 
and they ended up prescribing me medication they gave me Bactrim for that it was like a um I did a virtual visit and they gave me some medication called Bactrim the doctor was like are you allergic to any medication I'm like no and she also asked me had I ever taken Bactrim before and I'm like no I never had it before um but I'm also not allergic to any medication that I know of either so she was just giving me a warning like okay just FYI some people are allergic to this medication but if you never took it you probably won't know you know until you actually take it so i'm just like oh, okay cool whatever like i said i ain't never been allergic to nothing so i'm not thinking of anything with this lady said i'm just like okay yeah go ahead and prescribe that shit so bring give it my way so i could feel better long story short um i deal with ovarian cysts and ovarian cysts make you feel like you gotta pee every five seconds and this and that so that's why i thought i had a uti but i didn't but because back then i didn't know all of this i'm just like okay bitch while you taking your steroids and your other medication you need to also be taking your U uti medication take that shit too go ahead and take everything at the same time get it out the way because you on a new health journey okay you on a new you on a new path make sure you take everything so now i'm taking my uti medication and also the other medication that they didn't prescribe me right so about three days later i noticed my throat started to feel a little sore like a little tingly as if i was getting sick and the first thing i said was the devil is a lie what i said i'm on a health journey right so girl i hurried up and took me some cold medicine because i ain't got time so i popped my little tylenol cold and flu you know what i'm saying um <laughs> because i'm just like no you just got out the hospital you ain't got time for the motherfucking cold so i took it it said every four hours so i'm setting an alarm to make sure i take that shit every four hours because like i said i'm on a new health journey so i'm gonna take my shit how i'm supposed to and then bitch all of a sudden that throat pain it just got worse <laughs> it got worse to the point where i thought that i maybe had strep throat because i'm just like the only time my throat has hurt this bad is if i had strep throat and i can feel it in my ears like every time i swallow it would hurt my ears too bitch and i was a little nervous i don't know what made me ask my sister-in-law this but once again we reached out to my sister-in-law and i was telling her about my symptoms and so she was asking me about everything i was taking or whatever and i was telling her i'm just like i don't know just feel like my throat is closing up because honestly that's how i felt it felt like my throat was closing up and so at first she was like well maybe you do got strep throat or something just go to the er the emergency room and i'm like oh my god i do not feel like going to no motherfucking emergency room again um and then she said, or maybe you could be having an allergic reaction to one of the medications you're on. But it can't be the steroids because the steroids actually supposed to help with allergic reactions. So I'm just like, hmm. I just start like thinking about all of the medications that I'm on. And I start like little by little el eliminating one or the other and like narrowing them down to kind of figure out if i am allergic to something i need to figure out what it is and i googled the anti-inflammatory medication i knew it wasn't that i knew it wasn't my blood pressure medication and then all of a sudden i just had like a a vision bitch if i just started thinking about what that doctor told me on the phone a couple of weeks ago about that uti medication bitch. it dawned on me i'm like oh my god Bitch, you probably have an allergic reaction to that damn UTI medication that you were just so sure that she was not allergic to. So I started Googling, you know, I didn't see anything. So I just kept scrolling, I kept scrolling and literally at the very bottom, bitch, like the last paragraph, it said something about allergic reactions. <laughs> and some of the symptoms I was having, such as the throat, girl... I was so outdone with myself. I was actually appalled because while I'm trying to treat a motherfucking cold and still taking a medication that's making me feel like this. So of course, I immediately stopped taking the medicine and then I ended up going to the ER. At this point, I know the ER people was getting ready to try to see in my chart on their motherfucking records because I was just going through a lot <laughs> and I know my insurance is tired of seeing my claims too but you know that's what I pay it for okay I go to the ER they gave me more steroids because like I said steroids also help with allergic reactions so they give me more of that it's like oh my god at this big age I'm just now finding out that I'm allergic to something like it, I mean it happens though it happens you, you never know if you're allergic to something unless you actually ingest it you know what I'm saying or you can take the little test or whatever 
gonna pay hundreds of dollars for that shit. I ain't doing it. I'm just gonna have to fuck around and find out because I ain't got time to be doing all of that. Three hospital visits in one video is insane. So regarding my face, um, as time went on, my face started slowly becoming back to normal. Um, during Christmas time though, it unfortunately wasn't at 100%, it was more like 60%. I'll show y'all a picture of how my smile was. This is one of, and this is the ugly ass picture. So y'all, I'm only showing y'all because I love y'all, and I'm, I'm, just, I just gotta be real. So yeah, this is a picture during Christmas. You can see like my smile is, like that, that is not my smile. Just look at it. <laughs> like that is not my smile. Um. So yeah, that was, it was embarrassing, but. It slowly got better. Uh, I, I think it finally got better at week four. Also, other things that I was um, having issues with while I was recovering was my sight. Like, my sight even became blurry. And I'm already blind as fuck, bitch. I done told y'all what contacts. I've been wearing contacts in glasses. Well, I've been wearing glasses since first grade. So, I've just been i been blind for a long time. So, the Bell's palsy caused my eyesight to be weak. Um... Also, I would like get spasms or whatever you want to call it in my ear. Even my hearing in that ear was trash. It's just crazy how so much of my body was affected just by becoming paralyzed on one side of my face for a temporary time. And I'm glad it was temporary, bitch, because whoa, if that was <laughs> if that was permanent, I don't know if y'all would be seeing me right now. Like, let's be real. No one wants to look like that. I'm just grateful to God that I was lucky enough to recover from that shit and be here to tell y'all what happened to my ass with a full smile <laughs> on my face. So, moral of the story. And if you OG, I ain't did a moral of the story in years. I think I'm gonna have to bring that back. <laughs> you could be perfectly fine one day and casket sharp the next. No ever doubt what ain't never happened to you before because it surely can happen to you today if not today tomorrow if not tomorrow next week you never know so just be mindful of your body high blood pressure it is like a silent killer i never understood what they meant by that until it happened to me i was a walking stroke anything could have happened while i was driving while i was by myself with the kids at the house like thank god it didn't but that's why i ain't never missed a dose ever since that hospital visit okay and also i learned that some shit just ain't gonna get done me talking to myself angelique look them kids gonna be all right all right them kids gonna be good some shit ain't gonna be done you ain't gonna be able to clean everything all at once you ain't gonna be able to you know do everything all at once all the time just take it a day at a time and that's what honestly what i have been doing um sometimes it kind of makes me feel bad when i don't do certain things that i feel like i should be doing but it, it is okay it's okay to give yourself a break and to just decompress <laughs> it's okay and that's what i'm learning like i'm about to be 30 years old i'm not about to be in my 40s 50s 60s you know what i'm saying on life support damn near i'm not doing that like i want to be here for my kids i got a lot of kids to be here for i got a lot of kids to be here for so that alone is my motivation to just make sure i'm straight so that being said y'all that that was my story <laughs> that was my story if any of y'all have went through anything similar definitely tell me y'all stories in the comment section i want to hear it because like i said i didn't know this was even a thing until it happened to me so I just want to know any of y'all experiences with any of the things that I told y'all. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. That way you can be a part of the family. And also hit that like button so that your girl can be out here in these YouTube streets. And also turn your post notifications on. That way you can be notified when the next time your girl posts a video. Uh, I love y'all so much. Thank y'all so much for watching. And I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Peace.